A university created a center for digital wellness for students to have a digital detox. Ugh. Mm, what I is that? I try that all the I time. Mean, What's like, a digital just, detox? Did you throw your phone away? Like, yeah, throw it over there out. and your oh, computer. And, I like, thought it was like they use digital electronics to oh. detox your body. <laughs> no, like, get rid of the addiction to your cell phone. Dude, my phone is like the Lord of the Rings ring. Dude. It really is. I'm like, I fucking need it. Yeah. And then I'm like, no, but it's so I heavy. It's <laughs> burning so much. I want to throw it in the fucking volcano. Yeah, but you should make a rule not to look at your phone in bed. That's what I did, and it's you significantly cut Use down my Use night shift phone time. Night shift? You know what the night shift is? No, bud. It takes out the blue light. Oh, okay. so you can still use your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, but then it, it calms your eyes down. It's the blue light that keeps you awake. I'm trying to get him to stop using his phone in bed, Joe, hey, and you're making steps. it easier. Don't addict. listen to Joe. He's talking to, He's him talking to an addict. addict. You're going to trust that face? I told I told David about the night shift and he said thank you. Now I couldn't sleep. And then now he can't because I'm just probably not using the night shift. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. he'll be on his phone longer too. But if you have an oh. iPhone, you flip it up right here. Don't show Boom. him, don't yeah. show him. Night shift on. Yeah. Takes out the uh, blue. Oh yellowish. that's cool, man. Joe, I don't know why you wanna die. I'm so glad I came here. <laughs> it's gonna help him sleep, trust me. You can also I don't care about him sleeping. He can't call turkey. I can't cold turkey, man. No, I need it. Here's why it, it, it stops me from sleeping. Because if he wakes up before me, he gets on his phone, and then when he's awake, he makes noises. Like laughing. And like it, it wakes me up, because <laughs> like he doesn't get out of bed, so it's just like... <clears throat> and I'm like, oh my god. He just clears his throat and like coughs and stuff. And I'm like, if, you, if he was asleep, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but he's using his phone in bed. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe don't use your phone in bed. <laughs> While you're trying to sleep or when you're waking up? Anytime, Joe. She doesn't want me on it at all, dude. <laughs> no, he could use it in the living room, because then that's the work. Sometimes I'm like, I fucking need this phone, dude. Yeah. I need it, man. I'll suck a dick for this phone, dude. <laughs> I know that feeling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, so Liberty <laughs> University. <laughs> fucking call him. Ah, dude. I oh, know. Right? Liberty University, uh, that's in Virginia. It's a nonprofit Christian university. I wish I could stare at this guy and just look at my phone instead of the sky. Uh, and it's all just my phone. <laughs> or you can <laughs> all around. You know that phone that app everywhere. Where you're just swiping and looking. <laughs> you know that universe wow. app where you can point your phone anywhere and it shows you what star yeah, is right there. Constellation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like you're looking at the sky and still like your phone. Like, <laughs> your phone. Oh wait, no, Instagram's over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Facebook. It's like, oh, it's like where are you headed? Oh okay, head over there. That's where Snap, my like Snapchat. That's where it is. <laughs> that would be sick to have a phone that big. Fuck yeah, it would be. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it would be. I'm sure VR will like, make it possible for you. Oh yeah, that's so we'll sick. We'll I like that I idea. It was like the complete opposite of what this <laughs> story is talking about. A 12 year old girl stops a carjacker from abducting her and her little sister. Whoa! Whoa. What does she do? Take jujitsu? I'm gonna show you guys a video of her <gasps> interview. When she's oh. telling you herself All right. of what happened. All right, let's no, do imagine it. Imagine you go to school with your arm in a sling, and it's like, hey, what happened to your arm? It's like, oh, yeah, I was kicking ass. <laughs> yeah. Bought a car jacket. Stopped the carjacking and was kicking so much ass, so I broke my own arm. Cause, because she's not like a dainty little girl, I feel like her hits made some impact. Hell and yeah. she broke her freaking hand punching. Yeah. That's hardcore. Like, most people are like not trying to break their own hand hurting someone, yeah. that's murderous yeah. moves. Yeah, I think because- and Especially a, if a Jesus looking dude with a dashiki <laughs> comes inside <laughs> my car, I'd be fucking scared. How old yeah. do you think this guy is? 55. Yeah, he looks older than he is. Yeah, he's Probably. 21. Oh. 21? Holy yeah. Dude, can I just yeah. say, if if referee Herb Dean, I think we all know about this, yeah. okay? If referee Herb Dean was officiating this match and this little girl's wailing on this dude's face, he would have called it way too early. Yep. And I think that's and I think that's fucked up. I think what helps her too is the fact that she's 12. She doesn't understand uh, like any repercussion that's gonna happen. Like she might break her her hand. She doesn't understand that like medical bills might sue. She's just like Life. with her heart. Yeah, yeah. she's like yeah. going because I know all of us would be like, well, what if he's strapped? What if he has this yeah, or yeah. you know? You second guess everything. Yeah, like I don't want to be in danger. Just let him take the car. I'm gonna roll out. Like that's yeah. Why you always gotta strike first. Don't think to strike first and murder the motherfucker. No, see, I think you gotta out crazy the motherfucker. Because if they if they are strapped, how are they gonna shoot you if they're dead? Yep. Dude, no, like Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon. Do you remember that scene where he's like, he's like, come on, I want you to do it. I want you to do it. He like makes the guy put the gun to his fucking head and he's like, I want you to do it. Come on, do it, do it, fucking do it. It's like the guy's like, oh, hey man, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I do. I fucking out crazy that guy. Yeah. I just shit my fucking pants. You can fucking do it. You should do it. Like, like, let's see if there's anything more in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> just make the guy think, what the fuck am I in, man? That's perfect. I like that the little sister was smart, too. Because then, like, it, you would piss you the fuck off if you're trying to save your... You work so yeah. hard. And they're so fucking her. dumb that they don't even know what's going on. They're just, like, frozen. Yep. Mm. Yeah, they're that just in the car seat. Like <laughs> 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 like little kids, man. I fucking love it. <laughs> well, even the mom said they went over safety things beforehand. That's like, what you gotta do. Yeah, practice yeah. situations. A woman was horrified after noticing her cab driver was wasn't wearing any pants. Huh? Oh, what? that's a yeah. typo. <laughs> Take two. No, I'm kidding. Let's leave it in. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Driver wasn't wearing pants. First of all, I wouldn't have gotten in the front seat. She was in the front seat, right? Oh, she's in the front seat? Yeah, oh, that's, that's weird. That's kind of weird to me. Like, really? What? I always sit in the front. Really? I do, because in my family, like whenever there would be a driver and then everyone sits in the back seat, the driver would always be like, what, you're going to leave me like a taxi? And so like it's... But they literally are the taxi, taxi though. No, yeah, for sure, for sure. But I guess like it's been like I'm conditioned to think like I shouldn't leave the driver alone on like... So yeah, I always sit in the front seat. I like the front sometimes because then I can see more. Yeah, and then plus I. But I have to talk more. Yeah, yeah you, you put you put yourself in a situation where you do have to talk to the driver when you're sitting in the front. Not always. I just pull out my phone and be like, hey. So That's also rude. But at least I'm in the front seat. You're in the peripheral vi vision of each other now. You guys are weird as fuck. I can't believe two people here admit to sitting in the front seat in a taxi. Yeah. That's the weirdest shit I ever heard. <laughs> I don't care. I'll be weird. I don't do that. I like to sit as far away from the driver as humanly possible. <laughs> in the trunk? Yeah. I'll sit in the trunk, sir. No, I would. I would. I think, you remember when you're, you're when you're a kid and you're like in your neighbor's station wagon and it faces the freaking traffic? Yeah. You're all the way in the butt fuck back seat? Yeah. I would rather sit in there because then I could just do whatever I want, say whatever I want. You know what I mean? Yeah, I always feel weird. Privacy. Well, no, honestly, because it's always embarrassing because Nikki fucking whips out a vlog camera everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, and so no, and so I'm always like, oh fuck, I, f I just feel like this frozenness when she whips out the vlog camera and like there's a taxi driver there. I'm always like, you know, you have every right to hate us, <laughs> every right. But if we were fucking off like way back away, then it's like I can I can Long handle it. So, yeah. so the difference is if you're in the back seat of an Uber versus the front passenger seat, you would feel much more comfortable with the vlog in the back seat, which is only. Actually, the same distance. I'm never comfortable during a vlog, oh. ever. Oh. Same. Ever. But but I do it. It's fine. It, and it's fun sometimes, right? But like, but it's the whipping it out thing and not informing the driver. Like, hey, sorry, we're gonna film a thing. Like, we're not crazy people. Mm. We. She doesn't really do that. She just whips it out. She's got crazy balls about that. She'll just whip it out anywhere. Grocery store, fucking movie theater. She doesn't care. Like she was doing it at a Louis C.K. show we were at. <laughs> She whipped out her camera. Like she's a she's a maniac like that. <laughs> and I'm always like, this is so fucking embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> Only because I I don't uh, I don't know. I'm from a I'm from a different. Uh, I'm not like I'm against the selfies and all this shit. I don't like all of it. So you're a stand-up comic. You're not a vlogger. You're not a. Yeah, but I'm a YouTuber. I mean, you know, I, and I'm a stand-up comic, but I'm known for being a YouTuber. So I I accept the title of YouTuber because that's what I am. But I just I just have a problem going like this. Hey guys, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fucking kill myself. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, you do that. See, I do. You, it takes balls to do. You, you have to get used to that, right? Yeah, because and then you look at your bank account and you're like, oh, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Reachers say that being single is harder on men than it is on women. That is so yeah, sure. not true. Men are babies. It is harder on men. Is at <laughs> what age? Because being single is kind of cool. Everything yeah, right. Around. Like the way girls communicate. They communicate without judgment. So what they do is they blab constantly. To us, that's fucking annoying as shit. Beep, 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 yeah. beep. Beep, 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 beep. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's what it is. If a guy did that, right? He's like, hey, Steve, you know what the color green? Have you ever thought about the color green sometimes and why it's called the color green? So this guy's green, right? Isn't that fucking weird? We don't talk that like that. That sounds like a pothead, too. Fuck Girls up. do, though. <laughs> what I'm don't saying is, like, it's very know. arbitrary. No. Look, when, when, they put okay, weight on something get that food. doesn't have any weight. Yes. So it you sounds can't. like I gotta be like, what, seriously? No, look, 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 look. But the way you express it, there's so much weight on it. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, is this an emergency? It's not that. It's because we can feel a lot of intense emotions. Stupidity. A lot of intense emotions fairly quickly where you guys only can feel one emotion. No, well, no but you guys read into everything, though. Yes. Okay, because, because, okay. I'm gonna get really killed for this, okay. <laughs> I'm ready. To, okay. I'm ready. So so every morning, almost every morning, Nikki 
has to tell me about what she dreamt about last night, and it's a, always a very long sentence, a long paragraph of, of a story. I'm recording this for I Nikki. I got you, Nikki. Fuck about. I don't give one single fuck. Not even an iota of a fuck. I don't give a molecule of a fuck about it. But I nod my head and I listen and I try to make eye contact. But I don't give a fuck. And the whole time in my head, I'm just screaming, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand the story. There's no point to the story. Please just stop talking about this. So Thank this you. is what happens. If she, <laughs> if she had a conversation, right? That same conversation with one of her girlfriends, she'd go, and then what? Really? Wow. Are you? That's how they react, because right. you guys like to boost each other up. Just think about how you guys go out to clubs, right? That's what you guys do. Oh my god, where'd you get those earrings? Those earrings are great. I was gonna get it for myself, but I thought it would look better on you, so I didn't get it because I knew you were gonna get it. That's what you guys do, right? You know what we do? Yo, you do your hair? I'm out! <laughs> That's it, we're gone! You guys boost dude, each other. Did you get a fucking earring? Yeah, women like, are no, so No, it looks like great. shit, dude. Why did you? I mean, I feel like this solved the mystery. Like, it's pretty fucking cut and dry. But because, like, one time I was driving, right, and I and I saw a car completely flipped over on the side of the road. It's in the middle of a rainstorm, and I get out, and there's this dude who's like walking around like drunk as fuck. Oh fall. no! You actually went out to help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pulled over real quick because I'm like the best person in the world, right? <laughs> and uh, so I'm really happy to tell the story and get get myself on. Humble bragger, huh? Um. Uh, no, but but. It's a, no, I'm actually always gonna take the piss out of myself here. Be, uh, be, um, <laughs> no, because I did the same kind of shit, right? So I saw him stumbling around, like fucking drunk as hell. Oh no! And then all these college kids. This was down in San Diego. All these college kids started like going like, "Hey, let's flip the thing." So we flipped the the truck. You joined him? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we had to get out of the road because it was kind of dark in this stretch of road. I like how she was, laughed because she she has no faith in your. No, we we're trying to save lives. <laughs> And I know that to you that's a joke and that's funny, <laughs> but we were trying to help people and save lives. Yeah. And, and, uh, no, so we flipped the truck over to the side of the road, and then they're like, "Okay, man, you good to drive? Like, are you chill?" What? Why? He's what? drunk. Because, because he would have been in trouble. And for them, that was the most important thing was that he didn't hurt anybody, so let him get go on his merry way. Oh, and no. I'm like, Yo, this guy's drunk as fuck. He could hurt other people. You're yeah, right. It's like that could have could have hit instead of hitting the retaining wall. He could have hit like some yeah. mom of six. But the college students are like, oh man, that'll be a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. Been there, done that. That's how they think. DUI sucks, bro. And then thankfully the cops pulled up, and so you know I'm Detective oh. Dingle fucking butt here. I walk up to the cop and I'm like, hey, um, this guy's pretty drunk. <laughs> Yeah, like no. fucking, like they don't know this shit. Just <laughs> they're looking. You can look at the guy in the middle of a hurricane and see that he's drunk. You're the neighborhood watch guy. Like, I just want to let you know, yeah. he's pretty drunk. Uh, from thanks. cop to cop. Yeah, from so cop to know. cop. <laughs> Volunteer cop. I picked up the clues, you know. He's like the mall security help, cop. Yeah, I'm like, I cracked the case, okay. If you need help down at the station, I'm your guy. I don't know what kind of alcohol yet. It smells like beer though, to me. So. <laughs> you fucking mall cop. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, fuck, fuck you. Citizens arrest. <laughs> see, so was I telling the story for self-aggrandizement? Or to take the piss out of myself. As always, the second one. <laughs> because I, I'm bad at branding. That's how Steve saved the day. <clears throat> I really like how you tattled uh, honorably. I would too, I dude. Would, I would too. It was yeah, If it was a drunk driver, I think those are the times when I would snitch. I always call 911 whenever there's a drunk fucker on the road. Yeah, I mean, Normally, a cop could come up to me and be like, excuse me, sir, what day is it? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking tell you anything, pal. That's a universal for him. Fuck you. You're gonna have to beat it out of me, dude. <laughs> Normally, that's me. But in this case, that's a universal smartass move. Yeah. In this case, I thought like I was a brother Seamus. You know, I thought I was like a cop for 15 minutes. I just want to do this all day. I, know. I love that in cop shows when it's like, it's like, hey man, we got we got everything, and they're like, and they just look at the cop and they go, fuck you. <laughs> I laugh every Shit. time. It's always like the cops, but then the FBI comes down like, it's our case now. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then, and then, and then the cops are always like, fucking FBI guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they always play with the toothpick or something in their mouth. No, they're always like, uh... holding a mug of coffee. <laughs> Well, they would do a lot of tongue work, you know? They do. <laughs> tongue work. Yeah. That's what they let in the cat. Cop tongue work. Yeah. You never see that in any other movie other than cop movies. That's yeah. true. I'm gonna look for that tongue then. You should. <laughs>